Kansas City with Alexis, Rob, Courtney, and Lisa. Welcome back to another half hour of Better Kansas City. We're giving a lamp an impressive revamp. Tam Stone with Tam Stone Interiors took Courtney to the red shed in the West Bottoms for an impressive vintage find worth the search. We're here with Tam Stone. We're talking vintage lighting. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful. The base is beautiful. I don't know what's going on up here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first and foremost, it's important to know where your vintage lights came from. If you are going to go and purchase something like this, you need to know how to repair it and just knowing the, the actual age of it. And sometimes the maker can be really helpful. Now, Tam, you say just kind of as a rule of thumb, you always pay to have your vintage lights rewired. I go to a basic lamp shop. It's usually $50, $75. And I build that into the cost when I'm considering buying a piece mm -hmm. and just knowing that it will be safe and rewired. The other thing that happens, just real quickly, yeah, you're fine. is that um, sometimes bulb, the sockets change. Oh. And so by having it rewired with a modern socket, you know that you're going to be able to always get bulbs. You're not going to have to go to an antique dealer and Like find a bulbs. specialty bulb store exactly. or something. You can just go to your regular store. So always get yeah. your lamps rewired. Okay, love these. They're very beautiful. Yeah. This is so ugly. What are we going to do about this lamp shade? Okay, I it love, is. It's ugly. I love this, and this is this is what happens all the time. This happens to be a stiffle lamp, which is a really great quality mm -hmm. lamp line, and the shade is lost. Okay, it's not part. This is not a shade. This is just the bulb that's oh. protecting the bulb. And what you have, what you go for, what you look for when you're look, buying a shade is you need to find one that will have these little dips in it. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is this goes up because you don't have the center pole with the finial like we have it today. It sits on. Yes. The, it sits oh, right on the gold. That makes a world of difference. And then I can stable. tell you that. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you get your lamp shade. So that's what you're looking for is making sure that you have one that will fit the globe. Mm -hmm. They come in a couple of different sizes and you'll notice that those have dips for a couple of different sizes. Oh, phew. I was worried. I was worried about your street cred, Tam. <laughs> how do I know price points. Okay, that's a little bit of doing your own homework mm -hmm. and really inspecting the pieces. If they've been painted, for example, by a DIYer, just stay away from it completely. <laughs> um, don't be like, oh, we're going to strip this or repaint it ourselves or anything like that. Really look for lamps that are in their original condition mm -hmm. um, that maybe have minor flaws with them. Maybe the wiring is frayed, but you're going to rewire it anyway. Maybe you have minor chips in the porcelain. And then if the price seems fair to you, go ahead and purchase it. In this case, Case, these lamps I purchased for about $125 a piece, but I will tell you because of the brand, and I'm familiar with the brand, I knew what I was doing. These lamps will sell for about $900 a piece wow. when they're finished, restored, and have the shades on them. Not too bad there. I think she did pretty good with that one. Alexis, back over to you.